Hello, everyone. Again, this is Tim Heater from Be Well, God Bless, and it is my privilege today to be with some members here and to introduce you to Molly and Carl Jensen, and their business as a part of Be Well, God Bless is called Damn Pure Honey, and so we are real excited to have them today, and Molly and Carl, uh, hello. How are you doing today? It's great to have you. Hi, Tim. Thanks for having us. Uh, it's good to be here talking with you. Yes, thank you for taking the time. And um, just really, we just are sharing with all new members uh, just a few short questions about themselves to learn a little bit more about who you are. And so, why don't we just start off with just telling us a little bit about uh, who you guys are? Just a, just a brief little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Molly Jensen, and I'm currently I've left my job that I had 35 years, and I'm working on our honey business a little more, and working with more of the natural health field, and, and studying on natural health. Things I just believe people need to focus on taking care of themselves and and take the responsibility to take care of themselves instead of relying on a medical doctor to do all the taking care of them for them. We need to start taking responsibility for our own health. I'm Carl Jensen. Uh, I grew up in the area around Osage. Lived here all my life so far. Uh, work for working for a printing company right now. Uh, going on 37 years there. Got into the uh, raising bees just as a hobby at first, and now it's turned into a business for us. We're not uh, really that big, but we strive to put out the best pure honey that we can provide to the to our customers. And so far, it's been a challenge, but it's been rewarding. And every year, it just seems to uh, get better for us all the time. Wow, wonderful. This um it's really neat to I'm really interested to hear more um especially since what started out as this original hobby that you described um has really grown one just in what you're producing uh probably in quantity and quality and and just your ability to do that. But also, as you really, as Molly, as you said, as you were looking at the health benefits and focusing on health and, and just how that entire area integrates with it and goes from there. Um, so this is really neat. I look forward to learning more here. Um, so tell us, how did you first become interested in this this passion? Uh there was a co-worker at work that raised bees, plus my dad. Back when I was a young child, he, he raised bees, and um, he got out of that because he was farming. And it's always just kind of been there in the back of my head that, uh, you know, uh, I got this passion to raise bees. So uh, several years back, I started uh, out as just, with two hives of bees, and and now it's it ranges anywhere from 25 to 30 colonies of bees that I raise during the year. And when we first set out, our goal was to not medicate our bees, to get rid of the there's parasites and 
and different other things that you can put that you can medicate bees with, but we've decided that uh, we wanted to just stay as natural as we can on this. Uh, that's the biggest challenge, and so far, uh, I believe we probably are doing the best we can by using uh, essential oils and other natural methods of keeping our bees as healthy as possible. So that is our goal, and kind of our um, statement for our company, is to provide the customer base a of natural honey, the most natural honey that we can provide for. Okay. So really this passion you guys have for this, it really was for bees. Um, it, it sounds like it's really grown. Um, one, you pr I imagine you probably started just wondering, can we get these, the you know, the hives growing? Can we be successful? But now... You've raised the bar for yourself, and and it sounds like the goal has continued to grow from that original hobby to just continuing to refine and refine and eventually make the best product that you can. Yeah, that's pretty much. Um, if if you look out there on the commercial side of bee raising, if you raise more than a hundred hives of if you have more than 100 hives, you re you really have to go with the um, harsh chemicals. There there are soft chemicals out there, but uh, um, the harsher chemicals is the way a lot of the beekeepers are going just because of the time factor. Mm -hmm. They don't have time to actually work with each and every hive. It, it's, it's commercial. Commercial bee raising is what I call it, where right. where I take my time and actually spend, oh, it could be up to an hour on each hive, or it could just be 10 minutes, so. Truly a labor of love to um, keep in mind that end product that you're delivering to those customers. Yep, yep, that's, that's the main goal right there is to to get a good solid customer base which we're gradually gradually achieving that goal. Wonderful, wonderful. Well and and you've already moved into my next question, which is to kind of explain your product or service that you do deliver. Um we know it's honey. Uh we know it's high quality. It's without the harsh chemicals, natural process. Um, do you, do you deliver any other products? Are there any other related services? But what's the the main product that, that you deliver to your end customers? Uh, besides the honey, I make lip balms from the beeswax, and uh, I make another balm for minor skin irritations, cuts, bruises. We use it when we get stung by bees. We use it pretty regularly. It takes the sting away, so I make that balm also. Then we wow. provide uh, we provide wax for outside customers that that want to that need wax for their own personal use. We provide wax for them. Uh they're Pollen comes from bees. We do have customers that uh, take pollen for their own health. Pollen is uh, very beneficial for uh, hay fever, and of course hay fever is going on right now. So we do have customers that uh, look for our pollen. Pollen is the uh, only true natural or you get all of your vitamins and amino acids. It's the true food source. You you ate bee pollen and drank water, and if that's the only thing you had, you would survive. Wow, that's really interesting. I I, 
I've never heard that before. That's really amazing. What um, what quantities of that are you dealing with? Uh, uh, we sell our bee pollen in uh, eight ounce packages or one pound packages. The wax, it, we sell that in one ounce bars or we can sell it in a bigger quantity of that. Our honey, we sell that in two ounce baby bears, which is just a little plastic bottle that looks like a bear that uh, we've sold them for wedding favors. Mm -hmm. um, I know right now we had a bunch that went out for um, summer vacation Bible school, I think it was. They use them for for the kids, and uh, then we sell 12 ounce bottles of honey, 16 ounce bottles of honey, three pound bottles, and five pound bottles. Uh, we did sell bulk honey, but um, I have a few customers that rely on me to provide them honey year round, so we had to cut out on the bulk honey. Sure. Uh, if I if I want bigger, if I raise more bees, I probably could sell bulk honey. But um, right now, our biggest our biggest seller is the smaller quantities of mm -hmm. honey bottles. Sure. Well, it seems to me, and this is wonderful. I love to learn uh, just about the different industries of all the members of Be Well, God Bless, and how they're finding their own niche within. Um, in the market, but also just within, you know, the beekeeping and, and honey uh, niche itself. It's really mm -hmm. neat how you have, from the very beginning, you, you started with an end goal, and, and since you've branched out into several different um, di different products, your different needs, the, the balms that you create, um, just a lot of different things, and it's this wonderful following demand and need, and and certainly I think people would. There's certainly a lot of people I think that um, would be very interested. I'm, I, I, you know, for instance, me the uh, the pollen, the bee pollen. It's I'm very interested, very intrigued. It's something I'd love to learn more about. Um, yeah. and, and all of these products, do they maintain the same natural? Health benefits um, that that uh, just honey in natural processes is going to have. Yeah, um, honey is is uh, an, you can use it for an antiseptic, like on a cut or something. If, you know, if you don't have anything to put on it, but uh, honey will maintain its natural. Oh, what do I want to say here? The natural. Honey is always good unless it's been heated past its what temperature? 120 degrees. If you, if you heat honey past 120 degrees, you kill all the the uh, Enzyme. enzymes in it. Okay. Um, so therefore, we we uh, if if we have to heat our honey, it it doesn't get heated only to 100 degrees, and that's just to keep it into a liquid state. Sure. Um, but they found honey that is perfectly good in uh, the pharaoh's tombs. It it never goes bad. Wow, that's amazing. It's really amazing. Yeah. So, how does your product? You've mentioned some of the natural, you know, health benefits, and you've just highlighted a few of them. I, I imagine there's probably some more. Um, but just how how is this product, and how are you guys excited about it helping other people? Um, what are some of the main benefits that uh, it provides for people, and just some of the neat things you've seen your honey out there doing? Well, we, we've had a lot of people come to us and say they've taken like a tablespoon of honey every morning and and during allergy season, 
it really helps with their allergies. It it's cut back really their symptoms are a lot less and they just swear by that which makes you feel good and and uh others just people just keep telling us, Oh, your honey's so good and and we just we say, Well, we aren't doing anything, it's the bees and they're like, No, your labor of love or energy, you can taste that in in the honey. That's what we've been told that you just the energy's there, so that Wonderful. seems pretty neat. Wonderful, absolutely. And just remind me again, how how long have you been doing this from from the beginning, just from those first couple of hives you had, and or maybe the first batch of honey? How long ago was that? In two thousand nine, we started. Okay. Okay, going on seven years or so. Wow. Well, it's wonderful to see and to to hear how far you've come. I'm sure I have no clue about all of the work that was really be, you know, involved, but the journey and the process is really interesting and I would love to uh, find a time to um, learn a little bit more and actually get a sample and where can we um where can we get some of your products if we're interested and if any of our members are interested. Uh, we sell our honey at Country Cupboard in Osage and also at Riceville Marketplace, the grocery store in Riceville. Plus, we ship it. We ship it. If anyone needs it shipped, we will ship it and uh, come to our door and we sell it out of our house too. If you're local, you can get it right out of your house and if not, we can look you up on the member page and the member directory of Be Well, God Bless, and assume, uh, of course, you'll have all your contact information there, and we could get a hold of you there. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much for sharing your passion with us for this business, for these bees, for this honey, and the natural processes you're using to make healthy products. Really glad to have you as members of Be Well, God Bless and part of this community. And just before we go, is there any other, um, just last statement, or is there a question you wish I would have asked? you just like to share one more thing with us? Uh, we do offer uh, classes on beekeeping or just uh, if someone wants to look at a hive or something, we, we can put a suit on them and take them out and I'd show them exactly what goes on in a hive. So that's just another little perk, I guess is what you'd want to call it. Absolutely. I think that's, I think that sounds wonderful. I think that, uh, not be my, not me by myself, but, uh, with you as a trained <laughs> professional, I think that sounds really fun. So, well, Thank you guys so much. Uh, any other last things? No, not that I can think of. Perfect, perfect. Well, we'll continue to look and just uh, see if over the year we get any other updates via Facebook or other things. You uh, you do have a Facebook page, right? Is that that's correct? Yes, we do. Okay, and is that probably the best place to see what's current and the most recent updates? Yeah, we try to oh. keep that updated. That Okay, that usually works out really good. Well, wonderful. So everyone, um, just make sure to check out um, Molly and Carl Jensen's Damn Pure Honey uh, Facebook page to see what's going on and all the current news and updates. And again, Molly and Carl, thank you very much for taking the time out of your schedule to visit with us. Well, thank you. Thank you.